hi beauties welcome back to my channel before anything let me wish you a merry christmas and i wish you a prosperous new year because i'm pretty sure this is my last video in 2023 and hopefully we'll meet again in 2024 and before anything guys let me thank you for the huge support you have given me in 2023 and I promise you I'll keep creating good content in 2024. If you are new to this family, you're welcome. My name is Glory Mtui. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, kindly hit the subscribe button below, turn on notification bell. And don't forget to share this video with your loved ones. So I decide to part my hair into two just like this way. But you may either decide to part back of your ears or mid of your ears. If you don't have big forehead, you may either decide to part mid of your ears, but for me, I'll part back of my ears. So after I part the first time, I go ahead and I apply some gel, then I redo the line again. And then I make sure I secure back hair because in back, I'll do fake twist while in the front, I will do crisscross. So after I secure the hair so that I will know where or oh, up to which part i have to do effect twist so then i go ahead and i start to braid of course i go ahead and make sections it depends if you want to go ahead with big section or small section depending on how long you want to keep this hairstyle but then in back i make sure i make four sections just like this way and every time when i make lines i make sure i apply some gel so that i can hold all the hair together I'll be using Brazil wool and then what I usually do is I usually cut this bread, this uh, Brazil wool three times. This is the length of back section and in back I will only bread two rods, I mean two rods, which I will bread around um, four or five, around nine sections only and each section I'll be using five strand just like this way and then i'll add this one more strand for wrapping so total in each section i'll be using six strands and this is how i hold this wool together like this way i'll push this wool with my thumb finger so that this one wool remain i'll be using to wrap on my natural hair I'll be wrapping till I feel like I hold my hair well. Don't wrap too tight because you don't want to cause any tension on your scalp. Just be gentle. And guys, this hairstyle is protective style which you would like to keep for a long time. So you have to make sure you tuck your hair well. So how to tuck in your hair? Make sure you use this wool to cover your natural hair. And then after you cover your natural hair, then go ahead and wrap that hair together with wool. Wrap your hair together with wool till you feel like your hair is well covered. And then start to make twists. Here, when you are rolling, you have to make sure you are rolling opposite direction with the direction you'll be making twists. If you roll them in the same direction, honey, the twist will not come out. So you have to make sure both they are in opposite direction and then roll then make twists make twists then keep going after you make like five six or even ten and then pull that one wool down and the remaining wool pull up and you'll see the twist come out nicely and you may either decide to adjust to make a the big size or small size it's all up to you depending on your um, how big or how smaller you want and guys as you can see these are the sections i bred in back and at this point i add the length of this wool as you can see i add a little bit not too bigger because in my previous video a lot of people they have been asking like how long did you adjust the length when you keep braiding so after i braid two lines in the back i adjust the length of the wool and i make sure i add a little bit just a little bit not too much and then i use the same amount of strands to braid each section i hold 
five plus one to rub. Of course, after I wrap, I make sure I tuck in my natural hair like this way. And then I keep wrapping and make twists. The good thing of this hair is that you don't need to use too much gel. You don't need. Because this hairstyle can help you to hold your hair very well. So just make sure when you are making twists, you make you have to make sure you tuck in your natural hair well. And for those who are wondering like how long am I going to keep this hairstyle? This hairstyle you may either decide to keep up to three months, depending on your hair type, depending on your scalp. This is long time protective style. And of course, after you make twists, guys, don't forget to adjust. You may either decide to pull to make the twist look a little bit longer or bigger or smaller. It's all up to you, honey. It's so easy once you are familiar with this way of making twists. When you are starting braiding, maybe the first two or three twists will be a little bit difficult. But trust me, after you get used on how to roll especially the direction you have to roll and the direction you you will be starting to make twists you'll find out things is more easier and i also decided to show you guys in different uh, in different parts of my head on how i hold the hair as you can see in back this is how i usually hold my hair and then I make sure I roll well and I repeat exactly the same process because this is all about our today's hairstyle. If you're wondering how I can make sections so clean and neat like this way, here I have two mirrors, one in front and one in the back. So in front mirrors, I can see back. So everything I'm doing in the back, I can see through front mirror. So even when I braid, I can tuck my hair in easily because I can see through front mirror. So if you have two mirrors, you'll make things easier. So I keep making twists and pulling, make twists and pulling. And up to this point, I use only two and half bundles. So to braid my entire head, I'm pretty sure I will use only three bundles or less than three bundles. Because in front part, I'll be using very few, very, very few amounts of wool. So I don't worry at all about front part that I'll be using too much wool. So guys, here we go in front. As you can see, I already braid side to side. So in the middle, I take only one strand. And as you can see, this is very short. This strand is the those strands I cut. So when I was cutting the wool, have that small pieces remaining in the end. Don't throw them. You can use them to braid this part. So... Here I wrap and to avoid this wool to unravel, I make sure I secure once and then I keep going. So the second section, I make sure I divide into two like so and then I take another new strand and then I wrap together. I start to wrap like two times or three times on my natural hair first and then I hold previous section together with this new section. And before I braid, I make sure I unravel the section I secure so that I can get good, um, good section. And after the second one, after I repeat exactly the same thing to other side, the next section I'll be doing crisscross. So as you can see, the first one goes to the second and other side also the first one goes to the second at this point. So after these two sections, as you can see, the first section goes to the 
second section both sides and after these two sections the third section i'm going to start to make crisscross which the third section from the right side goes to the third section from the left section hopefully this makes sense and after that i will repeat exactly the same thing to other side if you have any question guys let me know in comment section so that i will explain to you well and after i finish to braid this crisscross i'll go ahead and i will repeat exactly the same thing like i did in front and after i braid till end of my hair and then i take the same five strands together with one strand to wrap and then i repeat exactly the same process like the way i braided in back So after I finish to braid this side, I'll be showing you also how I do crisscross in right side and left side so that you can know exactly what to do or how to achieve this crisscross. But I will not show you like each section because I don't want this video to be very long. So as you can see here, the first section goes to the second section from either side and then after i hold them together i take a new strand then i wrap them till in the end and then i secure in the end and then the same the second section goes to the third section to the other side i think the more you watch you understand more more than the way i explain because sometimes it's a little bit difficult to explain how to braid so after I finish make crisscross those last sections, each section I take the same five strands plus one strand to wrap and then I make the same twist just the way I did in back. And I make sure I tuck in my natural hair but as you see before I make twist I make sure I trim off excess wool because i don't want in the beginning of these twists the section to be so big while in the end the twist look thin so to avoid that i make sure i trim off so that i can get even twists and after this of course i have to secure to make sure everything is well and guys i'm done with my hairstyle let me go ahead and trim off all excess wool and hope come back with final look guys so this is the final results for today's video hopefully you enjoy watching this video and you get something if yes before you leave don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up share with your loved ones I love you guys so, so much. And I wish you all the best in 2024. See you soon in 2024, guys. Bye-bye.